Hi, it's Susie again from Nail Career Education, and Griselda and I today are going to do mermaid tails in a stiletto. They're really cool. This is the fun part about being a nail technician is all these cool designs. So I'm going to first start with buffing it up. Just want to buff the surface of the nail up a little bit. This is obviously not a real nail, but I find the fake ones too. You can buff it just a little bit, and it helps the product stick a little bit better. And then I'm going to form it with a super long stiletto form. It's really cool. If you don't have stiletto forms, you can just take two regular forms and then put them together. I've already preformed it, so I can just slip it on for speed. They don't stick so great to these fake hands sometimes, but sometimes you kind of have to hold it. So I want to lay down the mermaid tail, but I want to be putting it on top of a background scenery. So in this case, I'm using a very, very light mint green, sort of to simulate ocean. I'm going to put my mermaid tail up in there. So I'm just, I don't, there's no need to put all the ocean back there. just gonna fade it out. So now I'm gonna lay in the mermaid tail. So I'm gonna shape it a little. I'm gonna define it later with some black paint. So I am gonna try to lay it in with some sort of shape of the mermaid tail. Black paint will define it, but this is just sort of bringing it in. So there's a swirl of the mermaid tail you can see starting to form. And this is a stiletto, so we need to continue down further with making the stiletto shape. And this is where the, some of the scales will be and swirls and stuff I'm gonna add. And I'm gonna bring it right into a stiletto. Awesome, I've laid down the swirl of the mermaid tail, the nice darker colors. Now I'm gonna add this beautiful shimmer. I hope you can see this blue, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna lay it in to highlight the whole um, design that I've done for the mermaid tail, just to give it some dimension and depth and some lightness too. It's very, very pretty. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I'm really loving it, so I think we're gonna add quite a bit of it. Okay, so for the next step, I've got my little white square tissue paper, whatever you want to do, but I'm going to just throw some sparkles, shimmers, nail art things that you can, that you might find that will blend with the colors that you're looking for to create dimension in the tail. And these are really cute. They're just, um, I think they're shells actually. They're cut in the shape of mermaid tails. So I, I might throw a few of those on. I'm not sure how they're gonna look, but I'm gonna take a boot. I really love these. These are almost see-through, they're like fish scales. And they have a blue tone to them, and, but they, when you move them, they have a prism look. So they, have, they pick up the light in different ways. These are beautiful, these are like scales as well. They're just a lighter color. And I find they're a little bit brighter than the ones I just put on the table. So just put them on this paper towel, piece of paper, whatever you want to use. I'm gonna pick those up with my brush. Get a little bit of liquid and you can literally just pick them up and place them as you would see real live scales on a real live mermaid. <laughs> I'm going to use those shells that I talked about. They're really very beautiful. As I turn it, can you see the shimmer of the different dimensions of the scales? Now we're gonna take a clear capping layer and put it over top of the whole design to be able to protect what you've done. It's gonna look a little ugly because it gets a little bit cloudy at first, but once we buff it and shine it up, it's gorgeous. You're gonna to wanna to take a fairly big ball. We're gonna do several balls, but just clear cap your whole design. 
and just encase what you have done right in there. This will take a lot of product. Sometimes the designs that you put in, the jewels and embellishments and things you put in, will sometimes want to move. So try to put it right over top. Let the ball settle for a little bit and then just kind of push it over top of your design so it doesn't move. And just keep doing that until you go to the tip and then you're done. I think one or two more beads is gonna take care of this. I'm just gonna put one on the end just to make sure it's nice and strong. Now I'm just going to check my structure, make sure everybody's encased in there, make sure everybody's happy. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I've encased everybody, got a good arch on there, everything's solid in there. Just give it a couple minutes to dry and then we'll start filing. Okay, so it's only been a couple of minutes and it's nice and dry and that's a good test to make sure that it is. And uh, now I'm going to start filing it up. Stilettos are pretty much you know, shaped for you anyway. You're just basically smoothing it and um, making it nice and shaped. But you want no bumps and lumps anywhere. Okay? I'm just going to file it up, shape it up a little, make sure the sides are nice and straight. Nobody would really know it's a mermaid tail at this point, seriously. It's really when you start drawing it on there that it starts to go, ah, I see. <laughs> Oopsie. Griselda's losing her fingers here. And just make sure, take a look at it, make sure it's nice and smooth and ready for the um, paint. Get rid of all your dust. Okay. Now we're gonna paint the shape of the mermaid tail on there. I'm gonna exaggerate what I've done here in the acrylic. And I even kind of bring it around and I even draw little scales in there. Just try to draw some fishtail scales. Just use your imagination, whatever you think of. Maybe Google a mermaid <laughs> and just get some ideas. Sometimes those designs that I put in there, I'll even go around them a little. If you can see them, sometimes they're a little bit harder to see, but if you can see them, sure, go around them. And sometimes when I get near the end, I'll just do a few more little fish tails. Just get jakey. Just do anything you want. Okay, I think that's happening. So now I've painted the calligraphy design on there. I'm just gonna give the paint a few seconds to dry, and now I'm gonna paint the top coat. This is when the design comes to life. I'm gonna add some jewels, but I'm gonna do it after the top coat is cured. Okay, we've top coated it, and now we're gonna add our bling. Mermaids gotta have bling. And I just put a little dab of wherever I want that bling to be. Mm -mm -mm. Lovely it is, but you can't just have two. You've got to have them in odd numbers. <laughs> so I'm probably just going to add another one right there. That's beauty. I love it. Before I sit down and do a design, I will literally draw it out on paper too and get an idea of maybe where I want things. Or I even do samples and test them out, different colors, different combinations of colors to make sure I get the one that I want. I love doing these mermaid tails. They're a lot of fun. I love the stiletto shape too. I don't know many people that wear them, but they are so much fun to do. So when you get a chance, go for it. And let me know how you're doing with your mermaid tails. Have fun. Hi, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.